Hello everybody, I'm very excited to be able to show you my brand new PC. Um, I just got it and basically if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I've been looking to get a new PC for quite some time. The last PC I got was in August 2013 I believe, just before Rome 2 came out and because of that PC I was able to grow a channel, get a job and uh, move out of my parents house essentially. So I got my last PC from CyberPower so I decided to go with the CyberPower again and it turns out it's absolutely perfect. Um, great service, great website, so I highly recommend them. You should definitely go check them out. Uh, so the case you're looking at here is an NZXT Noctis 450 full tower case. And if we have a look inside, uh, we can see the graphics card there. It's an MSI NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti with uh, 6 gigs of video memory. Uh, the CPU is a uh, Intel Core i7-5930K, 6 core, 3.5 gigahertz, it's overclocked. Uh, the memory is 32 gigs uh, or 4 times 8 gigs of DDR4 3000 megahertz uh, quad channel memory and you can see the uh, Corsair heat spreader there in the center. Uh, the sound card is an Asus Zoner DGX 5.1. Uh, the hard drives we've got over here on the right are, so basically I've gone for three. I have a, uh, a 3 terabyte SATA 3 uh, 7200 RPM hard drive and then I have two 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 EVOs SSDs. Um, they were equipped with RAID 1, but I'll talk about that in a minute, but they're not anymore. Uh, then I've got kind of soundproofing all, th all throughout the PC. You can see that um, CyberPower did this themselves. They put soundproofing in the case and outside. Uh, there's an option on their website to do that. And then the blue fans as well. So they've got CyberPower sound absorbing foam, anti-vibration fan mounts, and a power supply gasket. Power supply itself is 700 watts, uh, which is pretty standard. And the network card is a standard network card that you'll find on most PCs. So while I'm booting it up here, I thought I'd do a quick test to show you guys how fast it can go from being off to being in a battle in Rome 2. I just thought it was a good little test to do. Um, and while we're letting it do there in the background, I'm not editing this in any way. This is completely in real time. Um, I just thought I'd talk about CyberPower just for a minute. So basically, I ordered the PC and uh, I asked for blue fans and it came out with red fans. Um, and I know it's like such a picky little thing, but uh, I, did, I did spend a bit of money on this. So I decided to ask them like, hey, like, would you be able to put the blue fans in it for me? Um, I'd really appreciate it. And also, um, uh, the SSDs are, are I only, only one of them is showing up. And they're like, yeah, you chose the RAID 1 option. So what RAID 1 basically does is um, it will encrypt your data and copy it to the other hard drive. Um, and that's what I wanted. I wanted a, a complete mirror hard drive. But um, I wanted to be able to access the other hard drive as well. So with RAID 1, you're not actually able to do that. So they're like, don't worry about it. We'll take the PC off your hands, put the correct fans in, disable the RAID, send it back to you free of charge. And uh, yeah, a few days later, I got it back all perfect, perfectly working. So super happy about that. But I just thought I should mention that is what happened. And if you're looking up RAID stuff, it gets really complicated, um, or I think so anyway, if you're not really familiar with that stuff. Um, so it's worth looking up. Uh, so as you can see, we've just about loaded into the battle here. You can see the frame rate up the top left in green. It's a little bit hard to see in Rome, but we're averaging around 80 frames a second. Uh, I would think. Uh, this is a, a full battle on large armies that you can see me loading into and I just thought in general it took about a minute and 30 to go from completely off to in the battle and playing and that is with um, you know logging in going through the total war launcher and all that stuff um, but something I just love having a new PC for is having just this awesome setup now for my videos so I can have a completely blank slate in order to create like really efficient videos so I have my, you know, my large hard drive is where I do all my video production and where I create images and things like that. I have my Premiere Pro projects all like in one place. Um, I have one SSD for recording games. Uh, that's where all my footage goes to super fast. And then I have one, another SSD for actually loading the games, so playing games. So all my games are on one SSD. You can see it's one is quite full and one is basically empty, which is the recordings. Um, and that's how, that's how I do it. Um, so I'm just super excited for that because now I can bring more video content faster at a higher quality. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and it's thanks to you guys that I'm able to do this. So what you're looking at here, um, I have a 4K TV in my apartment as well. Um, now this isn't running in 4K, but I just, I play Far Cry on my TV uh, with a controller because I'm weird like that. But you can see I've stacked everything up to full ultra. My last PC, I think I was getting about 40 frames per second and I wasn't on full and I'd get stuttering like as I was like loading through the terrain and stuff. On this you can see I'm just running around I'm like over 100 frames almost all the time in the water there I'm like up to 130 and it just looks absolutely fantastic it looks so good. Um, Far Cry Primal basically looks the same as this and from uh, 
performance reports and things I've seen, it's not too much more demanding. So I haven't got Far Cry Primal, but just if, to make that comparison, you can see uh, I'm sure I'd be able to run it just fine. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, you get attacked by rhinos and things like that. Um, so another question people have been asking me is like, are you gaming in 4K at all? Um, people ask me on Twitter and not really, but a game that I did try in 4K was Mad Max. So Mad Max runs extremely well. I guess you are in a kind of barren desert quite a lot, although it does, it is a good looking game. Um, so Mad Max here is buffed up to 4K. It's really hard to see the actual uh, frame rate because it's in 4K, it lowers you know, it's at just a tiny corner of the screen where it shows that data now. Um, but I'm averaging about 57, sometimes it goes over 60, so it's average 60 frames a second. The game looks amazing. Is it noticeable that it's in 4K? Kind of, but does it make a big difference? No. Um, <laughs> like, with the fire, I notice when I get out of the car, you can see the little specks of fire on the ground, and they're just a lot sharper than, than I've ever noticed, and textures, like, really look good. Um, but the other thing I've been thinking is like most of these games don't, you know, the textures aren't made at 4K resolution or anything like that, so you probably aren't going to get proper 4K gaming until much later. Um, although it is just a super sharp image um, and like with a lot of detail, so it looks looks absolutely amazing. Uh, so I'm super happy with this PC. I don't normally keep it up here next to my computer. I just thought I'd do that to show you, uh, to illustrate the PC with the games running next to it. Uh, this is my kind of setup. I have a Samsung CO1U microphone. Um, at the moment, I've got my uh, my TV that sits right behind me. Uh, I live in this apartment with my girlfriend and Mitch, who also works at CA. Um, and I just thought I'd do a quick like little show of my apartment because people have asked to see it since since I moved in about a year ago. Um, and just in case people think you know, like I'm I'm rich or something, be able to get this kind of PC and a 4K TV. That's basically like it for the whole year I've lived here. I've gotten uh, you know that TV, uh, this kind of like sofa and table and. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Like, I don't even have curtains in my bedroom. I just have a sheet. Um, so my priorities are probably a little skewed like that. I'm definitely heavy on the gaming budget. Um, and it did almost break me. <laughs> I was close to not paying rent with this. But, um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show all that. And uh, that's basically my place. I need to do a little bit of cable management at the back there, but um, tidy everything up. I also have a Rack 5 gaming mouse and a uh, pretty normal kind of gaming keyboard, a Zalman keyboard. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to be streaming a lot more um, over at twitch.tv slash War. I'm going to see if I can get some 1080p options in there so you guys can actually watch at the full quality for those of you who can stream that. Um, and I hope to be doing a lot more videos. Um, I just want to say thanks again to CyberFire. They've been really, really good about just great customer service. I mean, every time I sent them an email, they pinged me back within a few hours and then they'd also message you, me on my phone with a separate message about delivery and things like that. So. Super good service, definitely check them out. I think it's cyberpowersystem.co.uk is the site I use from the UK, but you can just type in cyberpower and figure out what you want. Um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend them so far. I'm using Windows 10 as well. And uh, basically I haven't had any issues with it. I actually really like it. It's I was on 8.1 beforehand and 10 is definitely better than 8.1. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't had any issues with the games either. It's, it's Windows 10 seems fine with them. I've only got about 10 or 12 games installed now. Battlefield 4, you know, Star Wars Battlefront I have and it runs incredibly well. I can play Star Wars Battlefront actually in 4K at 60 frames per second, which looks just absolutely amazing as well. Um, it's a shame the game isn't a little bit better because uh, I might actually play it a bit more. But yeah, I've been playing Battlefield 4, H1Z1, uh, Counter Strikes at 300 frames a second or something, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoying it. Oh, and of course Attila. Attila is running at 80 frames per second on the campaign. I um, haven't had much time to play some battles with it though. Uh, but you know, it, it does vary depending on the troops you have. But uh, yeah, that's basically my rig and my apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into kind of the past year I've had and the past few years. If it wasn't for you guys who have followed me and subscribed to me and, and watched my videos and you know enjoyed them and things like that, um, I wouldn't have been able to invest this much money back into it. Um, you know, it would have been crazy for me to do so. <laughs> so I just want to say thanks for that. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking to maybe get a better kind of microphone setup, maybe a desk mic that will hang over the desk so that you don't hear me clicking and things like that when I'm playing games. Um, and maybe some uh, kind of uh, soundproofing as well. Maybe eventually I might get some better monitors. The monitors are quite average as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, let me know what you think of, of my rig or my house or whatever you want. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.